It was farmland and then flooded to be a reservoir for the, under, for the, uh, the underground um, canal system to keep it topped up. And then when the coal was finished, when they finished stop mining, they had the good idea of um, filling it up with rubble to build on, but they couldn't build on this particular strip because um, there was a culvert. So they left it just as, as a waste ground, really, in between the houses. A lot of people are fairly surprised, actually. We get people who live quite near. And the thing is, they used to, they used to swim in the reservoir. Um, this was a sort of area which were, they were warned not to come into because it was all full of rats and swamp, etc. Um, and the words got round, you know, overheard in pubs and things, that you know, some crazy old woman has, has, has changed it now. And, it's, um, and gradually people are coming in. It's always a nice surprise, because they, people are always absolutely well, amazed when they walk through the estate and open the gates, and then suddenly there's a valley. They compare it to either falling down a rabbit hole or going through the back of a wardrobe or something, you know, which in the wardrobe. It's quite fun. I like the marsh because it, the, you often see kingfishers and herons down there, so it's quite nice sitting there. Um, I, actually, it's very difficult to choose a part that's really nice because, because it faces, it, it, it's east-west. Um, there's always spots where you can have find sunshine, and I put seats there, so occasionally you can have breakfast at one place and, or, or breakfast in another place in another part of the year.